हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम दीपक बैक अगेन टू डेमोस्ट्रेट यू वन ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट विच इज़ रिसेंटली डिजाइन बाय आर टीम यूजिंग द रेसबरी पाई एंड द आर डी नो नैनो यू कैन सी दिस इज समवर्ट रिलेटेड टू द ट्रैफिक लाइट मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम ए नंबर ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट हैज़ बीन ऑलरेडी डिजाइन बाई यूजिंग द सेम कंसेप्ट बट इट इज़ बिट डिफरेंट लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू फर्स्टली दैट वॉट एग्जैक्टली वी आर डूइंग दिस इज बेसिकली एन आई ओ टी बेस्ड सिस्टम विच गिवज एन प्रोविजन to the user to check the traffic at the remote location as well as to the monitoring center where you have the provision to control the lights by default in the previous models generally the traffic lights are to be controlled manually by going to the particular place by visiting the particular place but here we do have the provision that it can be controlled from the monitoring station by increasing or decreasing the passing time period right along with that it is also giving you an live preview as you can see here we have placed one camera which is demonstrating like uh, there is a cctv camera over there on the pole near to the road where we have installed this system so what exactly it is doing there is arduino nano to which the four sensors these are the four sensors those are counting the traffic that is there on the road and these flat section is representing the road section right these are the three indicators red yellow and the green which you usually see on the roads so these sensors are taking value from the road that how much traffic is there on the road and on that behalf it is sending its data to the arduino nano arduino nano is basically taking these sensors input and on that behalf uh, taking the decision that how much traffic is there and transferring it to the raspberry pi we have done here uh, the communication between the two by using the serial cable uh, which is wired one it can also be done by using the wireless modules which can be the further modification in it so the raspberry pi is doing two of the section one is transferring the data from the monitoring station to the iot you can see this is a thing speak network that we are using it is given by the matlab itself for getting the sensor values or demonstrating the things to the remote location so our raspberry pi is sending the data to that thing speak server which can be remotely accessed secondly at the monitoring station where this raspberry pi the raspberry pi that we are using is raspberry pi 4 it is giving the provision to change the passing time period by these three switch we do have these three switch one is for the increment the first one is for the increment this one this one for the decrement and third one for submitting so once the traffic will be higher the raspberry pi will automatically go to the mode where the user can change the passing time period and once this particular uh, button is pressed it will transfer that data to this arduino nano to which these controls these uh, indicators are connected so on that behalf the passing time period it means uh, the time period for the green and the red light will be changed so this is basically uh, the journal overview of the modules that we have used let's have a look what exactly it has uh, one is raspberry pi 4 one serial cable to communicate with the arduino nano one buzzer so that if the traffic is more it can beep at the monitoring level three switches to control to give the time duration for the uh, passing period four ir sensors those are working as counters and two poles those are having six indicators as red yellow and green one camera which is giving the live preview the camera that we are using is of microsoft so the code has been designed in uh, the raspberry pi in which the serial communication module has been used uh, along with that uh, the multi scripting is used for getting the live preview Uh, this is what we are doing in it so let's have a look that what exactly this project is doing so we have taken these batteries these are the batteries which will behave as a vehicle so you can see when i placed it here before that let's start with the code i am running this particular code the monitoring is started initially as there is no traffic over there this is the live preview you can see which is focused on the road and the lights so as there is no traffic what i am going to do a vehicle is getting placed here nothing is detected because nothing is specifically uh, in front of the ir sensor 
you can also check the IR sensor are working or not by check checking it on the camera you can see the IR sensor one of the uh, sensor is being lightened which is given as a IR input so it means all the four sensors are working perfectly so I'm placing one more vehicle behind it you can see we have taken if the first sensor is giving the input it means we do have the three vehicles over there on the road you can see it is taking the input as a L3 it means left side three vehicles and the same input will be sent to the IOT module there you can see currently as I need to refresh the page so you can see the value that is received on the left hand side it is three right so as the count has been sent so it can be remotely visualized along with that similarly if I'm going to place one of the battery in front of the right hand side and moving the left hand side one you can see the monitoring system is giving that R3 three vehicles on the right hand side right now this is basically the journal detection of the traffic on the road but if it is over then the limit as we have given the six vehicles to be the maximum it means if both the sensors are engaged you can see we have got the L6 and by default the timer addition is zero seconds right so we can increase or decrease it you can see if I am going to press these buttons this is for the increment uh, the value is going to be changed it is one two three so by default we have given the eight second counter to the red and the green one on the both side but if we are going to send this value it will add these three seconds to that those eight seconds so the total of uh, eight nine ten and eleven eleven second delay will be there so let's do it i am pressing this button for the submit one so once it is done you can see it is sent and still as six were there so i am removing one of them you can count the time it is currently the red light you will see it is more delayed so let's count after this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven this so eight second to eleven seconds increment now you can see as previously it was again for the 6-1 I am reducing it I am decrementing it sending it to the basic mode so currently the time duration will be 8 seconds let's do it again so once it is submitted currently the L3 is there As you can see the 3 count is over there now the timer will be 1 2 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 so it's changed because we have not incremented any of the value so the previous value was 11 that's why and even on the remote location you can see the value was reached to the 6 once the uh, maximum count both the sensors have given the output so these are the provision that is with us and the live preview is also available on the screen so that if user at the monitoring station want to visualize it from the remote location uh, he or she can easily do it. So this is basically the project which is using the multiple technologies with the Arduino and the Raspberry Pi and the Python also and uh, uh, multi scripting is there this video whatever we are uh, running on the screen is not particularly in the same code it is in the another uh, script so the multi scripting is done in it other than that the communication between the raspberry pi and the arduino is been done along with that the iot module is done by using the thing speaks uh, uh, server of the mathworks company so these are the technologies that we have done in this i hope you people like this video and for more details and uh, doing the updations in it and such ideas uh, subscribe our channel stay tuned thanks for watching the video thank you